Yes, guys, welcome back to the Spurs Talk Show. I'm here with Guy Masterson, a hey. uh, fan of the channel, I believe, or someone I bumped into before the game started and someone I've just bumped into after the game. So I'm going to get his thoughts on the game. Guy, first and foremost, mate, how are you? I'm very well. Much, much better after that. Uh, the last 20 minutes of the game. So let's uh, let's start with the the team selection today. Did Ange get the, the, the team right from the start? Well, I was a little concerned that uh, Papa Sar was left out because I think he is a driving force of the, of the side. I was glad that Bentinger was getting more time, uh, you know, to, to find his form again. But uh, I'm sad to say that it didn't look like he'd found it. But the, the big question is, is Ange going to stick with that? Because we know he's a Rolls Royce. Yeah. Maybe the, the, the engine's grinding a bit. But, um, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I think he did get the selection right, given, given that, um, uh, you know, we didn't have Rishi up front. Right. Uh, it was good to see Son there. Good to see him making those runs. Pity the ball wasn't reaching him. Mm. You know, and I thought we were settling into a Wolves type situation. Yeah. Uh, sort of, uh, you, you know, and it did get there. And of course, they got that goal. And I thought, oh, here we go. 11 we'll, men behind the ball. We'll come to that in a second. The first half first, Guy. Um, for me, just quickly, one of the most boring first halves of football I've seen. I didn't think either <laughs> team were particularly interested in or were trying to figure it out. Um, Crystal Palace, Glasner set them quite high trying to squeeze the life out of the yep. game and kind of affected that strategy quite well. He did, yeah. Timo Werner with the best chance for Tottenham. Yes, he should have put that away. That. It was a great pity because uh, had he scored that, that would have given him a huge amount of confidence. And well, I, I thought it was a given. You know, he, he went around the keeper. He's got the speed. It was a great stop by the keeper. Great but, uh, you know... Uh, His well, confidence it, isn't quite there, is it? It's not quite there, but I'm glad he got that goal in the second half because that mm. might be what we need. So and in meaningful. fact, that win as a whole might be what we need Correct. because the way we played in that last sort of 25 minutes was the way we should be playing throughout the whole game. 100%. Ange and ball was back. It was back. It was exactly <laughs> what we were playing in, in the game against Luton yep. and then against Aston Villa in the first in the first half. You, you know, that's the way that Ange wants us to play and we, we, weren't, we weren't doing it. We didn't. You know, it's always that kind of toe that stops that final through ball. Correct. Uh, you know, and then there's a, a misplaced pass and there's a confusion, whatever it is that's stopping us getting that, uh, that, that ball. But um, I, I think we're, we're still very, very close. We're very close. We go in at halftime, nil-nil. Yep. Crystal Palace have a couple of chances as well. Vicario, I forget, Vicario does make a great save. I'm not sure if that one was all offside or not, but it's irrelevant. It's nil-nil at halftime. A lot what of a moans and groans in my section of the mm, stadium. Yeah. We were going quiet, and when we go quiet, it feels like death. Right. You know, it's awful in, in there, in the South Sam, when, when, when we just don't think it's going our way. We go quiet, and it's not, it's not good for the team. I was hearing people saying, well, they shut that drummer up. You know, and that's a bad thing. When the drummer is there to try to create a catalyst for atmosphere, people yeah. are getting frustrated with it. That's a bad, it's a bad sign. But listen, Sometimes out of adversity comes up opportunity, and yeah. the adversity was Madison taking down the Crystal Palace player that leads to the free kick. Yes. Wonderful free kick from Eze. It was amazing. Was that Madison? I thought it was Bentoncourt. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was Bentoncourt. Okay. He gave the ball away, which was wrong. unlike him. Chased back, trying to make it good, like Harry used to do, you know, right. and then screwed up by giving away a stupid, stupid free kick in the worst place possible. Yeah. It was a perfect free kick, perfect. although we didn't defend it properly. We didn't have that man in the wall. I thought the wall was weird. It was weird. It felt like there was two walls. There was our wall and there was Palace's wall. Well, yeah. And they were separate, and that and shouldn't happen. All he had to do was hit it perfectly, and he hit it perfectly. Right. So, you know, and then we go, right, it's going to be, it's going to be 11 men behind the ball. And, uh, that was the catalyst for Tottenham to switch on to a second gear, or, or was it the substitutions, guys? Well, it was interesting because, you know, the substitution, we all went, oh, no, you know. We, yeah. Brennan Johnson. Yeah. yeah, Brennan is, he's a mixed bag because he does so many things incredibly well. I mean, this, the, the goal, the equaliser was because of Brennan. Unbelievable from him. That yeah. press, I've never seen anyone press the ball as well as he has that in, was, that, in that moment. It sensational. Was, it was sensational, but he'd just given the ball away with a stupid, t twice. Yeah. Uh, which and we were all going, oh no, you're not going to have this game, are you? And uh, I mean, he, he, there was a beautiful move where um, Emerson nearly, nearly, nearly put him through. He just stopped and didn't run for it. Correct. Um, and then he, he chased that ball into the corner, forced the guy into a mistake, managed to tow the ball past, and put the cross across. I mean, thank God and for that. I'm not that. sure there's anybody in our team that can put a low cross in onto a sixpence quite as well as Brennan Johnson well, can. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, 
Yeah, no, thank God he did that. Uh, and Timo Werner was there to poke it home? Timo was there. Guy, uh, talk to me, how, how meaningful a goal is that for him and for us potentially for the second half of the season? We need his confidence to be up. We do, because he's. we know he's got it. We've seen it. We've seen all the videos. We know what he can do. And he didn't do it for Chelsea, although he scored 50% in 50% of the matches he yep. played. And so he can, we know he can do it. Yeah, he needed that confidence. But more than that, we need the confidence of that win, that comeback, because... We're just on the cusp of something incredible, I think. And, uh, I and, and we, just, we just needed to turn that game around. You're getting me hyped up here, guy. Oh, I tell you what. <laughs> on, the cusp of, on the cusp of we something are. incredible. We are, absolutely. Because th <laughs> this isn't the greatest group of players in the world. It's a very good group of players. Don't get me wrong. And they're, and, but they, what we're seeing... sprinkles of magic dust here yes, and there. But they can play Ange ball when they want to. And they yeah. did it. For 20 minutes, they did it. Ange wants them to do it. For 90 minutes. Why aren't we doing it for 90 minutes, Guy, in your I mind? Don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I thought to myself are today... Are we trying to or do we, are, we, are we doing something else? Are we trying to preserve energy for the second half? Oh, I don't know. It's, a, it's an odd one. It's an odd one. I can't... It, it, it's really weird. We, we start to cheer at the, the, the beginning of the game. Everything's going well. We're really pressing high. We're, we, we're passing the ball, whipping the ball around. Nothing happens for 15 minutes. And we, sort of, sort of, we take our foot off the gas. Yeah. And, and then nothing happens for the next 35 minutes. They get a breakaway goal or a free kick, and we're chasing the game. But we get that equaliser, and then all of a sudden the noise picks up. The drummer is very much uh, <laughs> desired again, all of a sudden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were uh, laughing about it. Like, it's probably a dead joke for the, for the channel, but we were laughing about it in the area. I mean, if you're watching this and you're from the area, make sure you drop a comment to let me know that you saw it as well. Everyone was like, why can't that drummer disappear? And as soon as we scored, That's where's right. that drummer gone? Why isn't he back? Is, he, is it a drum or is he actually just thumping the side of I'm the stadium? Sure. I'm not sure. But because the atmosphere picked up, and then did. from then on it felt like a fait accompli. And we started to, we started to sing again. And when we sing, that stadium just becomes electrified. It is, a, it's, oh, it's awful when, we're, when we think, oh, we're not going to do it, we're not going to well, break through. The, problem. the stadium was built with acoustics in mind. You know, you're a, the a theatrical man, a the theatre I am, man. I am. So you understand about acoustics, right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, if, if you're built with, for acoustics in mind and there is no noise, then that becomes deafening. That's right. Almost. It's, uh, it's awful. And I watched this terrible video of this, uh, this guy saying he went to Luton Spurs over two days. And, uh, and he, he looked at the stadium, said all the magic things that, about a stadium and was expecting it to be incredible. Yeah. And the noise at the beginning of the game was, was brilliant. And then at the end of it, he said, sorry, guys, you know, I came here to watch a great game in a great stadium, but it was dead. Yeah. And I thought, I was ashamed. Mm. I was ashamed. I, I'm in the south stand. I know the noise we can the, make, for God's sake. The atmosphere sake. can be there, but it, it takes a catalyst. We get the, we, you know, we get the, we get the equaliser, and then we, I think the south stand is sucking that ball into the back of the net. It's and interesting then it takes you Madison say. To float the, sorry, go on, it's yeah. interesting you say it takes a catalyst, but I think we should be the bloody catalyst. Right, we We're the ones yeah. that need to, need to raise the team. If they go one nil down, we should start shouting even more. There are teams yeah. that do that. I mean, I think Liverpool are in that sort of great groove where their, their team shout because they're expecting them to win. Mm -hmm. We're sort of in that sort of place where we, we, we're we not expecting. Yeah, there's a lot of self-doubt. We're yeah. self-doubters. Yeah, we we're Spurs, for God's sake. <laughs> that's, the, that's the kind of, that's the way the dialogue I goes. grew up, in the, when I started supporting Spurs, we weren't <laughs> self-doubters. We expected to win every game. Yeah. We started to get that back at the beginning of Pochettino. Yeah. Started to get that back. We got it back at the end of that, that first season with Conte because that, ball, that, that football we were playing at the end of that his first season was incredible. I think we also had it for the first 10 games this season. We did. And then, then Basuma got sent off. <laughs> yeah, Basuma got sent off. Yeah, Van der Ven got injured against Chelsea. All those things happened very yeah. quickly. And then the kind of someone took the air out of our balloon, you know, a little but, bit. But we're getting it back now. But that's today, interesting. The Basuma, Basuma, I think that was a pivotal point because he's not played that way. He was, the, oh, he the was whole game today. was playing through him. Yeah. He was strong today, but he wasn't back to his creative best. He was back to his containing best, right. spraying best. He was spraying the well, ball that's about. That's what I want from a six. Yeah, but that's I, what do, I think yeah. I think we need, I, I think a, a six that in, a top, in this system, a Callum McGregor type from Celtic. You're lovely. I think, yeah, that guy doesn't need, have the pressure to get forward. He just sits in the pocket, protects the back two, and sprays and plays. Yeah, but you see, I think he was also doing more than that. Okay. In the first ten games, I think he was giving the he was getting the ball to Madison in tight situations, and Madison was doing all the creating, and we were scoring goals for fun. 
Yeah. But then he got sent off. He's lost a bit of confidence. Now, uh, there's a few and little things. The discipline things. thing happened as well, yeah. Yeah, and he got sent off twice, didn't he? Got sent off twice, right. another yeah, one. Yeah. The, the, I think it was away. And, and he gave that ball away against, was it City when, when he gave that ball away? I can't remember what game it was, but it led to a goal which... You're um, right, Guy, um, but you're trying to find that, that six is such an important role. I think it, he's it, brilliant. I, I, I love Basuma as well. I just, I, I, I wonder whether, for me, listen, we can talk about this on the stream, because Guy's going to come on the stream. I, I think that you, Oh, I'd love I, to. Hope, hopefully you'll agree in the comments. Very eloquent and knowledgeable. So I'm going to get you on the stream for a panel chat. Um, but just get back to the game quickly, because yeah, it's obviously yeah, a post-match yeah. analysis. So uh, Madison floats the ball up. Romero gets oh. up, 2-1 up. And uh, then well, that was uh, let, let's just put that was an outside of the right toe, yeah, big toe, little, little which flop, landed it on <laughs> Romero's head. Yeah. You couldn't get a better assist than that. It was a perfect. I mean, you could see him aiming for Romero's head when he put it in the ball uh, in in the net. That was a fantastic assist. Um, anyway. Unbelievable, no, unbelievable. unbelievable assist. Unbelievable header. And listen, how often do you find a centre back caught that far up the pitch only with Ange Well, I did ask the question, it. what the hell are you doing yeah. there? You know. Well, I think he thinks of himself as the six. I think he's auditioning <laughs> for the monster six role. That I'll try him as number here. nine, I tell you. <laughs> and then after that, you know, then more changes happen. You see uh, Hoybier and Saar come on. You see. Um, I was worried Madison about Hoybier when he came on because, you know, he just. Suddenly we started playing with the ball in our own bloody half. Right. No, I don't want to play with our ball in our own half. Play it in their half, for God's sake, because. Hoiberg's responsible for losing the ball in our own half, and how many goals have, have been conceded because of that? Right. Wolves, for example, um, the, the first game against Wolves. Of course, yeah. I don't want him to do that. He's pissing around three little dinky passes. Yeah. And I just want to get the ball forward. There were plenty of runners. Dane, Dane Scarlett was making moves. The ball didn't come to him on a run. Uh, team of Werner was was team on there. He was there at the beginning before he got... Uh, uh, I think Werner came off because uh, Brennan Johnson moved to the left. So it was Brennan Johnson right. put Sonny through. Yeah. Again, so once again, Brennan Johnson double assist today. A lot of people, listen, a yeah. lot of people that are watching this, a lot of people that were in the stadium, Brennan Johnson comes on, you mentioned it already, lots of moans and groans. Oh, you know, I'm not sure how you feel oh, about I, this I guy. Didn't moan, I didn't moan and groan not, about not, Brennan. Not you he's, personally, but he's, you, hear, you hear it. He's right? a good old Welsh boy, yeah. see? <laughs> uh, but, uh, <laughs> I think I think that uh, Brennan's well, going to. fantastic today. I think he's going to make a he's going to make a great play. He just needs to grow up a bit, and he needs to uh, chase chase forward. Yeah. Stop! Don't stop. You know? guys. Yeah, hundred percent. So we get the third goal. Sunny. Mm. There's the difference between Sunny and Timo. They get both get put through. Yeah, Sunny's Sun the guy's got confidence. Yeah. He, you know, a goalkeeper knows. There's this beautiful when Sunny's facing you down. Sonny's going to find the bottom corner. Well, he, if you see that from the, 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 the end on camera, from the back of Sonny, he does this little thing where he shapes to cut the ball across and the goalkeeper goes that way. And of course, and he just slides, slides it into inside. the opposite side. That is a man who just knows, knows exactly knows how, to how to fake the keeper. Knows what he's doing. Beautiful it was. One yeah. of the best in the world. I didn't think he had a great game before that, though, if I'm entirely honest. Well, he wasn't given the ball enough. He was making those runs and the ball wasn't getting through to him, you know. Yeah. Um, Fair news to, I mean, any team, any team in the Premiership can can cut can cut through balls out on a regular basis. And Crystal Palace, they're not they're not mugs. They're Premiership no, no. Of players. No easy you know. games in the Premier no, League. There are no. But uh, we I, got I, it done today. Sorry, we got it done today. We got end. it done, and my it God, it wasn't easy for the first. It was, it was hard watch for the first 65 minutes. It was. It was. It takes us to go one nil down. Yeah. And then from then we. I think it's a turning ball. point. Well, look. I'm going to say it's a turning point. That's I okay. think it could be a turning That's point. That's fine. Uh, I think people are going to absolutely love you, man. I think you've come in with the right energy. <laughs> I think it's the energy that we need to hear. Um, I lost my hair last week. <laughs> 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 yeah, same. I've put on five stone in the last three days. Yeah, just the pressure of, of living the Tottenham life. <laughs> oh, dear. I did think this was a turning point game today. I really did. And uh, are, we to, are we going to make top four? Yes, I think we can. No, absolutely we can. 21 more points, we, 7 we, more wins. We absolutely, be we absolutely can. But, you know, we can't stop Aston Villa. They've got to do what they're going to do. Well, we can next week. And we will next week. You think we will? Uh, yeah, I think we will. I think we will. Look, Losing I'd be happy. today would have, would have been a real dent. It would have been awful. I think if we get a draw, I'd be happy with a draw. But I'd love a win. And I think we can get it. Yeah. We know. I mean, Christ, we were all over them in the first, in the first game. So we know what we can do against them. Oh, we should have won that 4-1. Anyway, uh, I see I live half in the past. No, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Guy, it's been a brilliant debut on the channel. I'm only 23. Guys, <laughs> guys, please let us know how you think about Guy. He's going to come on the channel either next week. I'm going to reach out to him or the week after. We're going to get him on the panel show. And he's going to be, hopefully, I think we're going to see him more of him. Because I think you're absolutely oh, brilliant. fantastic. It'll be good. Come on, guys. Nice uh, to see you. Top four, is it on? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and last thing I want to say is come on. And next Spurs. year, I think Ange is going to do his magic. 
Uh, and, and that book, Revolution. Read the book, Revolution. Revolution. There you go. John Geekin, I think Absolute it is. Legend. All right. Thanks so much. There you go. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs.